Good evening. Um, apologies for cutting the stream short last night. I thought it was being burgled with adverse thing. Um, just going to be a very, very brief um, stream. Just to sort of catch you up where we are with the Sir Alex Ferguson challenge with Spurs. Um, we have been progressing a bit. I've just not been able to get on with the um, football manager. Um, <clears throat> been on wars a lot and obviously work and everything else coming. So I'll catch up on the fixtures first. Unbelievable run of form. Not lost a game. Um, had two draws there. Norwich, which was a bit of a shock, um, albeit away. Same with Villa. Apart from that, perfect record, and I, I couldn't be happier. Um, squad is looking nice and healthy. The form is really, really good. Um, <laughs> the, the most sort of disappointing thing is that I've left myself on the hook for a lot of uh, a lot of money. I'm well over wage budget, as you can see. I was expecting to be able to cancel these loan players. It turns out there's something in the contract that says I can't cancel them. Um, as you can see, what what I've basically been doing is the areas that I needed. I would uh, say go to the position that I needed. Um, how I tend to scout. As I say, I want to wing back at, on attack at right wing. So there's your 19 sort of key stats. And then I just whittle it down. To a couple and then start looking at the ones that are really important to me so yeah marking not as important don't expect me wing backs to mark all that much uh, first touch for some reason this uh, screws up a little bit i want them to be good passes of the ball it's at least <coughs> you know i want quite technical players i want good mental stats so i'll leave all them there positioning teamwork work rate work rate three it's like me um, acceleration pace don't mind a little bit I'd sooner than have stamina you know endurance be hard working players and then all I do select all these scout full uh, fully scout player oh, well, anyway. um, and then obviously that list will get dwindled down until I'm left with probably two or three players um, and then I'd, I'd move in for the transfer of them have a look at which ones are the best value right sort of age etc so outstanding transfers Ahmed Adich, you can see he fits exactly what I'm looking for. He's young, he's got room for growth, and he's already got fantastic stats. Uh, he could well be a starter for me. Uh, Kieran, again, promising, cheap. Um, probably loan him out for a couple of years, see how we get on. Uh, the outstanding transfers I've got, so Joe Roden joins Dynamo Moscow uh, on the 26th of January. Christian Gunter cannot get rid of him for loving the money. <laughs> nah, I have tried. <laughs> Matt Doherty took a quite a, a chunk off him, right? Um, just trying to get rid of Real Madrid. How he's ended up there, I don't know. Um, and then the rest is sort of young players. I mean, Troy, I've, I've loaned out because he's not going to get the minutes he needs. Um, same for... Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Dane Scarlett, that's it. So he's not going to get the minutes he needs. Jamie, I'm quite happy to sort of play him till the end of the season. Um, as Harry Kane's back up and, and then farm him out and get him on loan somewhere, maybe for a year or two. And then that's when I'll probably look at selling Harry Kane and, and bringing him into the fold or Dane or, or Troy. Maybe even move to top top. But tactically, this is what I'm using. This is the system I used at Derby. I was going to go for a 4-2-3-1. It, it just didn't sort of fit me. This has been my base formation, the base way I play for the last 10 years, or, or maybe even a touch more on Football Manager. It's what's brought me the most success. This is what we played at Derby when uh, we first had Stephen McLaren. It was some of the best football I've ever seen us play. You know, it was really entertaining. It was a good couple of years until he fucked off to Newcastle. So... Um, this is how I want to set up to play. I want us to be entertaining and aggressive. <coughs> so as you can see, transfer history, we committed to overhauling the squad quite quickly. And as you can see from where I've took over, which would be here, Dean's gone on loan, Andrew Carboni gone, Bergwijn gone, Ben Davis, Harry Winks gone, about half value, but I needed to get some money in to fund the, the transfers that I've obviously gone for 
Uh, a couple of the cheaper lads gone. Eric Dyer, Real Madrid, twenty and a half million. Uh, Lucas Moura, ten million. Had a fucking piggybacked him all the way to um, Bill. Well, um, Bill Bow for that. Not Bill Bow. Betis. And then yeah, a couple of other cheap lads have come in. And again, you can see everyone I've bought all going to be f sort of first team contributors down the line. So Murray Johnson. Um, definitely going to be in the first team eventually. His stats aren't amazing at the minute. But he has some key stats, some key mental stats, and he's very coachable. Perisic was cheap. Henderson, new number one. Graven Birch, been a favourite of mine for about four or five years on uh, Football Manager. This guy is very, very intriguing. Young striker. I think he's going to be sort of a long term backup. I've, I'm not I'm playing him there. You know, he, he was dirt, dirt cheap. You know, 2.1 million, 20 grand, and a long term backup striker. Maybe even progress to a starter, but I can't sort of foresee it. But either way, for 2 million, key fucking um, setup in the squad, I'm happy with that. So got Omar Richards, young left back. He liked us as, um, he liked us as my main sort of cover for regular. Uh, Chris Meppham, again, 2.7 million cover. So I've spent money where it needed to be spent for starters, and I've got some real cheap backups, which I'm happy with. Tangin Yanzu, this guy, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. He's young, he's French, which seems to be a bit of a like, centre-back factory at the minute. <coughs> Mental stats through the roof, physical stats, fantastic. He's, 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 well, he's going to be world-class. Absolute world-class. Uh, Angelo Stiller, cheap, play a couple of positions. Very, very happy with him. He'll uh, definitely be in the rotation. This guy was a bit of a find, actually. The 21, Uruguayan. Um, how much did it cost me? 10 million, I think it was. Yeah, 10 million. And again, can play of the wing. Phenomenal acceleration and agility. Um, so that inverted winger, like cutting his side. Uh, his crossing's good, his dribbling, his finishing could use a bit of work, so could his long shot, especially if he, he is cutting his side and we're going to get him uh, playing a bit more centrally. But. In terms of where he's at now, you know, I've started him for a couple of games. Um, not been amazing. I'm starting for one. Weren't amazing, but solid enough, something to build off. And then this guy. Uh, again, more cover on the wings. So we've got a real, real solid core of, um, of wingers now. And if we go into... Ah, there we go. That, so that's, that's where we're at the minute. The star ratings I don't pay too much attention to. It's too inconsistent for me. I think you've got to look at the stats. So, I mean, look, look, Tang and Nianzu, two and a half star. He's he's nowhere near that level. He's much, much better. Uh, Oliver Skip, one of the youngsters I bought through. What a player he's been for me. Really has. His form lately has been fantastic. I mean, you can see it. The last five games, there's not not been any disappointments you know we've we've got um, we've got well fantastic performances out of everybody to be fair so when we next come on stream um, probably be Saturday I'd say for Football Manager but we're left with well we've got a bit of a tough stretch here Arsenal, Chelsea Brighton, Villa Liverpool tough five games you know after that, we've got the Carabao Cup final, which I really want to win. Spurs haven't had a trophy for, um, well, ever. So, it'd be great to, to come in quickly and win something. Even if it's under the Carabao Cup, just come in and win it and, and get the ground and get on the ground running. Win the second round, you Europa Conference League, as it is. And then, to be fair, I quite like the look of them last five games of the league. So, we've pulled it right round. We're currently ninth. Uh, we've got 18 games left with two points out of European football. We're eight points out of Champions League football. It's not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, <laughs> the league title's way off. But in the next two to three years, I, I, don't, I don't see why, um, why why we can't get that, to be honest. But yeah, looking at this, so obviously the squad's huge at the minute. These will all be gone after the end of the season. Um, Kyoi Big, I want to keep him. He can go. Please. I want rid of Lloris as well. Good keeper, getting old. If I can get 21 million for him, I'll be well happy, but I very much doubt it. 
Um, but yeah, so we'll be back on Saturday and we'll have a, a proper playthrough. I'll just, I'll just rattle out a quick game now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to, um, definitely going to go for me, my first team here. Check if he's fit, son. Everybody's nice and fit, pop from Dean Anderson. But in fact, what is? What is that? That's bothering Dean. Okay, fitness test. Um, has he made his debut? No, he's not made his debut yet. He came in with an injury. So let's play this game, and then it, it will be uh, will be off for the night. I'm afraid. Arsenal, oh, okay. North London Derby. Nice and relaxed. Nice and, oh. Don't, um. No, no calm down talk, okay. Nice positive press conference. Arsenal's not in the greatest form, but not terrible. Like uh, 3.6 wrong. Gun. Oh, England losing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that for some form, though. Let's get a little, uh, little calm down shout on nice and early. bear with me while I do something about this bloody sound. I can't take that sound anymore. It's blowing my ears off. Oh! Get in! Tremendous start. The flag's staying down. That's all we like to see. Oh! That was close. So far so good. Yeah, no, we'll ignore that. First minute, Harry Kane. To be fair, I had doubts whether Harry Kane was fitting into what I wanted to do, but he's coming good. He is coming good. Ah, there's my blue eyed boy. And Graven Birch. Go on, he's through the middle. Ah, missed a chance there. Oh! So that's where you see, like, um, Angel Perez, that'll be, like, his role eventually, I think, and that more sort of central um, when the ball's in. in in and around the final third. Hey, you're a left back, son. Pass it on. Oh my good god, what a finish. <coughs> what a finish. And we're absolutely tearing these to bits. Okay. Oh, yes, Henderson. Fantastic keeping. Go for that. I really want to put these to the sword. Get the fans on side nice and early. Get the team morale up. It's like I said in the first stream. Results have been great, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a tactical genius. I just believe in building a, a decent young squad and getting that morale as high as possible. Getting the team cohesion out, getting them playing well, getting them playing as a unit. That's it, son. Keep missing them. Ah, oh, what a wizard. Go on. Great ball. Oh. Unlucky. Pardon me. Do apologise. <coughs> grey ball, grey ball, go on. Nice. See, that's nice to see as well. Regular, nice and high up the pitch. He's got the, uh, they've got the stats to be able to get back and, and keep going. That's what I like to see. It. Oh, just liquid football. Fire! That 
Jesus Christ. That's rarer than Rocky Door shit, let me tell you. The Anzu. Bobby Moore-esque. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should read a book or something sometime. Something's up with Skip. What's up with him? Aggressive still. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, he's done it again. This lad is worth every penny. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, probably not going to be able to make a transfer for about three years. Um, I think I've only get out about 25, 30 million in upfront money. <laughs> the other, like, 200 is over the next three years. Um, I had no choice. I had something I wanted to do. I had to chase it aggressively. But if we just have a quick look. Um, yeah, so... 50, oh, 52 million... I oh, know that's minimum cost. Uh, transfer. Oh, Mind you, he's already worth double that, so. What? Ah, I know. Clauses. So the out clauses. Um, Alpha Divine. Oh, okay, didn't know he was from Wigan. Yeah, 13.25 million. Another 41 million over three years. Expensive. Expensive. Oh. oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Loan options. Re 30 million if we get in the bloody group stage. I'm kind of hoping we don't now, because that really could knacker me. No, I'm quite happy as it is, to be honest. Although their XG is higher than ours. They just haven't been... Oh, they haven't been... Um, just ruthless in, the, in front of goal, I don't think. But How's the Anzu on 6.9? He's had two goal-saving interceptions. And I'm not playing that kid again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll tell that. <laughs> Just go <laughs> before I say it and they really upset you all. So obviously three nil, dead happy. I'm just going to keep an eye on the fitness here. Um, just pull off anybody who's um, who's perhaps getting a little too tired. Try and save them for some upcoming fixtures. I like having quite a deep squad though. Gives you a chance to rotate it. Go on, Skippy. Oh, what a ball that is by Perisic. Gravenberg. Oh. What an effort. <clears throat> Hoping if we can hold out like 60 minutes without conceding, it just gives me that freedom to make a couple of changes, save some legs, get some of the fringe players on, and then get FM'd and lose fucking 4 3 in the 89th minute. Eighth in the league, though. Who'd have thunk it? Possession is not good. Oh, they've shot the load already. Right, I think it's my turn, to be fair. So, um, Gravenberg. Birch. Let's save him. Screw it. Let's give them some minutes. Especially that broth, I want to see what he can do. He's uh, he's only confirmed a couple of days ago. Yeah. Hoiberg. Some player, very underrated. Ooh. Effort. I'm saying, no, it says they've had more shots, but given the highlights, Kyle will think they've not been great, whereas we seem to be laying siege to him at the minute. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I think that's offside, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Great ball, though. Good start for the youngster. Why? Like as that. 15 minutes to go. This should be reasonably comfortable from here on out, but you just never know. We did a better ball. <coughs> can I take him off? I don't think I can. Oh, I've just oh, just playing with ten. Okay. That's a new uh, feature I've not used before. England are losing to Hungary. That is um, something else, that. Solid ball in. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I've got this an extended. Yes. That's why. I thought it would take a long time. I thought, Jesus. Oh. Oh, very nice. Football again. I was unlucky. That's in. That centre half pairing is going to be very, very key to uh, to how we want to play. Just give us that bit of core, that bit of extra room to be aggressive. Oh, there you go, your clean sheet bonuses, lads. Oh, please don't score again. <laughs> Waste a bit of time here. Oh, four minutes. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Connie's daughter, he's had a rough start to his life in English football. He was from Dynamo Dresden, though, to be fair. Getting fantastic result. Yeah, so possession was low, but I'm not really all about keep keep ball. Get it up. That'll do. We've been on a fantastic run. The press conferences are still shite, you'll have to bear with me. Um Injured two days, goalkeeper Henderson, yeah. Luke Amos, lovely. Let's praise regular. For his outstanding work. Look at that unbeaten in 10 away games. Press conference. Can still fuck off. Joaquin. Right, and that will um, do us for today. Like I said, it was going to be very brief. Um, I will be back on Saturday. We'll have a bit of a longer stream. And uh, we'll have a really good playthrough. So, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you Saturday. <laughs>